Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how you can create 4 layer PCBs using Altium PCB Designer. This is gonna be the second part of Altium PCB Designer tutorial. If you are not sure what Altium PCB Designer is, Altium is an amazing PCB designer which can be used for making amazing PCBs for your hobby projects as well as for industrial use. If you are an electronics enthusiast, this is gonna be really useful for you. Also, there is a feature called Antium 365 which will allow us to collaborate with others in every way possible when you are working on your project. So make sure you check out the free trial version link in the description down below. Also, if you are a student, you will get 6 month full license free. We have step by step complete tutorial for beginners who want to start building their own PCBs for their projects. Make sure you check it out. So let's get started. Let's see how we can make 4 layer PCBs using Altium. First turn on your computer, start Altium and open a circuit. Ok guys, let's take a look at this circuit. If you remember, this is the circuit of voice control door lock that we did in the last video. Here we can see there is a circuit diagram and there is a PCB file that we did in the last week. Alright, so in order to create a new PCB file, simply right click on the project, click on add new to project and click on PCB and here you should be able to see a new PCB file that has been created and it's automatically opened in this tab. Now we can save this file by pressing Ctrl and S together. Let's give it a name or layer PCB demo and click on save. Now we will save this file as well. And we will add all these components to this PCB file. Now go to design and click on update PCB document for layer PCB demo dot PCB doc. Now click on execute changes. And click on close. Now you should be able to see all the components that's there in the circuit. And you should be able to see the connections as well. So the next thing to do is add all these components inside this black box. This is the shape of the PCB, right? Now let's add that. Okay guys, all the components have been placed the board shape has been drawn. Now all we have to do is route all the components. Okay. Now let's take a look at the 3D shape. Here, this is the top side of the board. All right. And this is the bottom side. Here you should be able to see all the components are through hole components. Right. That means the components will be placed on one side and it will be soldered on the other. But we can add multiple layers in between the top and bottom layers and do routing on them. To do that, let's go back to 2D view. Now, when we select the routing tools right here, on the right side properties, here we have an option to select which layer we need to route. Okay, here we can see a top layer and a bottom layer. Now, go to design, click on layer stack manager. And here we should see all the layers in our PCB. Now we have an overlay layer, a solder mask layer, a top signal layer, dielectric layer, and a bottom layer, which is also a signal layer, and a bottom solder layer, and a bottom overlay layer. We'll be doing all the routings in signal layers, all right? So now we have two signal layers, right? One the top layer and one bottom layer. So in order to add multiple signal layers in between them, simply click on either of these layers, right click, select insert layer below and click on signal. Now we can see that two more signal layers have been added in between the top layer and the bottom layer, right? We have a top layer, we have a bottom layer and now we have layer 1 and layer 2, alright? All these signal layers are separated by dielectric layers. Save this file, press Ctrl S. Now go back to PCB file. Now select routing options. Now if you click on this layers, we'll be able to see top layer, layer 1, layer 2 and bottom layer. 
that means we can use the sandwich layers that is layer 1 and layer 2 for routing So that's it guys, this is how we make 4 layer PCBs using Altium PCB designer. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask in the comments down below. See you in the next video.